Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we're gonna learn some problems of a relational database management system, which usually comes in question paper. First, I'm gonna show you what's the question. So you can see this is the question in which you can see there are three things: time, transaction, and code. In time, there are eight slots T1 to T8. In transaction there are four slots actually and they are repeated twice and then there is code. So in the question it is asked that is there a deadlock and if yes and which transaction are involved in deadlock. So I am not going to end here. I am directly going to show you how to solve this. So first what you have to do, you have to write all that eight time slots which are given in the question. Then what you have to do, write the transaction. So this is the time and for the transaction you can see there are four transactions which is capital T1, T2, T3 and T4. Make a small diagram on any side so you can see. So if x and x, s and x, s and s is true, s and x is false, it is false, and this is false. Make a table like this. I'm gonna tell you what this means, but in the further question, then we are gonna make a diagram because we have to find is there any deadlock or not. So write all the four transactions. You can write them in any order: t1, then the t2, then a t3. Because there are four transactions you can see then t4 then what you have to do we have to first see in the code section you can see first is log ax so how you have to write because it's written on the t1 time t1 and transaction t1 so you have to write here log l which is stands for log log x of a then you can see on the second t2 transaction t2 and time slot t2 it's written log s of b so write l s of B. Then in the third transaction you can see it's written log A of S. So write according to the transaction. So log S of A. And then the fourth is log C of S. So write log S of C. This is our T4 transaction. Then we will write T5. T5 is again in front of transaction T1. So write log X of B. So L X of B. Then our T6 which is transaction 2 so log x of c so l x of c and then in the t7 time 7 transaction it's written t3 transaction so write log s of d and in the right last transaction you can see t8 which is t4 log x of d we have written all the transaction where there are need to be written you can see you can match your table and you can see t1 t1 of x of a it's just a simple thing. Now we will find is there any deadlock. So you can see the first transaction is x of a. So then we move to the second transaction. This is s of b. Then we move to the third transaction which is s of a. You can see there is an s of a and x of a here. So if it is an s of a, I made the table here. So if both these are s, suppose this x is s and this is also s, then we there is no deadlock. But you can see this is x of a and this is s of a. So what you have to do? The T3 is blocking the transaction T1. So the T3 is blocking T1. And which transaction? It is A transaction. Then we move to the next transaction which is T4. You can see this is S of C. There is no S of C here. Then we move to the T5. X of B. You can see this is X of B and this is S of B. These both are different X and S. So the T1 transaction of X of B is blocking T2. So T1 is blocking T2. So T1 blocking T2 with transaction B. And now we move to the 7th transaction which is x of c. You can see there is a s of c here. So x and s again it's a false. So means the t2 is blocking t4. So the t2 is blocking t4 with the transaction c. And then we move to the next t7 which is s of d. So you have to find the, is there any d. So there is no d. Then we move to our last transaction which is x of d. You can see this is x. This is S. So these two are different. So the T4 is blocking the T3. So the T4 is blocking the T3 with transaction D. You can see there is a loop between T1, T2, T4 and T3. When the transaction are in a state that each of the transaction depends on the execution of the previous transaction, then it is considered as a deadlock. You can see that transaction T1 is dependent on T2, which is dependent on T4, which is dependent on T3, which is dependent on T1. They are stuck in an infinite loop and this is called deadlock. This is how you can solve this problem which is comes usually in the Bachelor of Computer Application BCA, Unipone syllabus. 
If you have any question, comment, or your suggestion, please leave that in the comment box. Subscribe for more. Bye.